you guys, it's Prime here, Prime Scoundrels, and today we're going to be talking about a cool topic that, or I guess not so cool, um, that's been on my mind for a while, um, I really wanted to make it last year, it was so much more, um, better fitting, um, but never had time, so now we're gonna go ahead and make it now, um, with the possibility of February 8th closing in, the possibility of us getting a Scoundrel game, and us not getting a Scoundrel game. So the future is coming really close to the franchise and stuff. So I want to go ahead and talk to what this means. So now I do... Now for those, I don't want you guys to get mad at me. But there's a high possibility after Skylander 7 that the game franchise might end. Unless it does crazy good. Because I think I believe it was ever since Swap Force, the sales and stuff have slowly been decreasing. Um, and I don't remember if they said Superchargers was worse or Imaginators. Honestly, I'd probably say it was probably Imaginators was worse. Um, but, um, I need to look back on statistics, um, to verify, so I'm not too sure on that. Um, but basically what we were going to be talking about this video is, um, After Scanner 7 will probably be our last console game. Now, this is going to be a kind of like a hard talk, uh, topic to talk about because, you know, I've been with the game ever since the first. Um, and to see it go is going to be really, up, um, upsetting. But another thing I've been recently thinking about is it also might not be the worst thing. It's got two sides to the coin, basically. When Skylanders ends, it's either going to do two things. It's either going to show whatever rest toys to live companies are out there, like, okay, well, this is the company that started it, and if they can't make it anymore, what shot do we got? That's one side of it. The other side of it is companies being like, okay, well, now that the great titan's out of the way, we have our time to shine. Because you're talking about we have some recently new toys to life. We have Lightseeker that came out last year. And coming out later 2018, Starling, which if you guys don't know, is like where you build your own battleship and you explore planets, which I'm highly um, excited for and definitely going to get that one. But the thing is, we're, if people see that when Skylanders can't make it, that's what's going to be really interesting. Now here's the thing, if Skylanders makes in a fantastic 7th game, and then yeah, they're going to keep making games as long as money keeps rolling in. They're going to keep making the games. Now, they're made, they took a two-year cycle this year. So, I think the game better be phenomenal. And what I mean by that is they need to have higher-level thinking and older people like game features. Because here's the thing. The target audience, I believe, is like six and up. Now, the thing with that is probably a lot of six-year-olds don't need to be playing online. The, the reality of it is a lot of them do. And a lot of them, you know, probably honestly play Call of Duty or some things. Um, are, a lot of them are playing GTA and stuff a lot younger. A lot of younger people, they're playing a lot of older people games, like 17 and up, and their parents just buy it because they're like, this is the game I want. They don't know exactly what they're doing. The thing with Skylanders is, I think they're trying to keep that, you know, from kids doing that. So that might be the reason they took out Battle Mode and they don't want online, because they're like, you know, if we're talking audience, six-year-old, six-year-olds don't need to be online. The thing is, that's a bad strategy, because a lot of the audience um, that has been with from the original game... Are a lot older now um you know probably imaginators they probably picked up a couple of people um honestly maybe the people they paid um to you know play the game and do the commercials they're probably like you know what this is probably cool i've never heard of this game before but i'm a child actor and if you're gonna give me the game for free and stuff yeah i'll go ahead and uh you know do the commercial and play it you know i can see that happening um, and maybe a couple people walking through the store and seeing it, or even possibly the commercials, even though the commercials were bad. Um, maybe some of them liked it. But honestly, most of the people probably stuck still around, or the same people. Which just, um, there's a lot of people. Um, I know I was thinking, like, on Instagram alone. On Instagram alone, there's, you know, a couple hundred people in the Skylander community. So, you know, all of them are going to be buying it. Um, no telling about the younger audience who still likes it. Um, and just other people who just don't have social media or even know about the Skylander community, um, that, you know, love the franchise. So, it just goes both ways. The thing that just, um, I'm really looking forward to is just to know the answers. That's the kind of hard part to know, because if Skylander's just really good with 7, are they going to do the same thing then with, like, the 2-year cycle and then make an 8? And make a 9 and keep going. Um, I'm going ahead and be honest with you guys. I don't see him going past 10. Um, I would love it all the, all the way to be to Skylanders 8. Is my honest opinion. I love all the way to Skylanders 8. It's just because with me odd numbers. I just Skylanders 7. I just feel like. Just go ahead and make the last one. Make it 8. 
um, and call it good. Um, thing is, I don't know if I can even think of that many gimmicks and such. Um, that's just, you know, a lot to me, but... So, I really need to know you guys' thoughts down below. Do you think Skylander 7 could be the last game? And if it is, would it be a bad thing for the fall of the, you know, the leader of Toys to Life? Or would it be a good thing because it's going to open new doors for future Toys to Life games? Um, or like I said, it could be a bad thing and then people are going to be like, okay, we can't make it. It, I, I can just see it so closely both ways of what the, com <clears throat> excuse me, of what the companies are going to think. Obviously, I think probably the best reaction is people are going to be like, yes, because this was the big money grabber. But obviously, you know, they're like, you know, they've been about, you know, they've made serious money for the past six, I guess you can say seven years when Skylander 7 comes out, if it does. You know, they've been making mad money for seven years, and you're telling me now that they're calling the quits. You know, we're new, you know. But it's all different because I can also see what I was, uh, I think I was talking to a couple of fellow Portal Masters about this. What if, you know, Skylanders ends, if it's kind of like a spinoff thing. Um, they uh, might eventually end up doing toy, uh, Toys for Bob or something. Because it's just like, you know, Skylanders is all about the characters um, and the experience with them in the game. The thing is, what, what's different with uh, other Toys to Life, now you got, you know, like, vehicles. Like, the whole Toys to Life is going to be about vehicles. Um, or Light Seekers. I mean, they're about the characters, but the thing is, the characters just get to do so much in the real world and in the digital world. So... The thing with Skylanders, unless they completely change the design of characters, they're always going to be the same with you take the character, put it on the portal, and that magic, the main selling point is, boom, you're going to play as that character in that game. Um, which is like the main concept, which um, was a good concept, but now the fact is other people are starting to surpass that concept. So... Either Skylander 7 is going to do, like, you know, one last year of what it's going to be, you know, that concept. Um, and it's going to sell really good and they make an 8. Or, you know, it's going to probably maybe end. Um, but the thing is, if Skylander does end, I'm not saying it's going to be an end to everything Skylander related. I'm just saying the era of the console games, okay? Mobile games, they might stick around and they can, you know, make money off that still. The characters will not be around, though. That's going to be a hard thing to keep pushing without new characters. Um, the Netflix show, they have year, you know, they have like seven plus years of console games they can build off of. So the Netflix show can go on for seasons after seasons after seasons. Because it's still going to make money definitely off that. But guys, I really need to know what you guys think down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. I'm Prime Skylanders. Don't forget to subscribe for some more videos. I'll see you guys in the future.